If I hit the radius command and I type the letter R for radius in the menu command and I type in zero, what it will do is it will make a sharp corner, a vertice, if you will. And repeat the command by hitting right click. It will repeat command. Select this line to this line. See, now we made a nice square edge. And here's another little trick about AutoCAD. I know that this line and the distance between is equal distance. If I hit this mirror command up here and I select these objects, I can mirror this object across a line that I pick. So let's pick a line from this midpoint. And as you can see from the preview, if I draw the line out toward the right, it's already going to try to mirror it down here. So let's pull out toward the right and hit select again. There we go. Okay, so there is my base flange of it all. Now it also looks like the flange has some rounds. It kind of rounds into things. So I don't want to get too fancy with this. I don't want it looking too fancy. It's not going to be good enough to go to the White House. So let's hit offset again. And let's offset this time two inches, which is geometrically one half of the four, the four inch flange to begin with. So now that I've got that flange there, now what I want to, maybe what I want to do is I want to um, give this a round of some type. So let's look at it. And um, what I want to do is draw a line. Let's say it kind of rounds, rounds this way, rounds into a ledge that way. Now I know my offset is two so I can hit radius again and hit a radius of two so let's pick this line once more and pick that line now see it gave it a nice round and it looks okay to me for all practical purposes again this is a simple column so there's my round now <clears throat> let's say this column in essence um, is going to be a foot diameter so let me type in six inch radius circle well let's make it a little thicker because that looks a little small to me let's make it uh let's erase that let's make this a diameter of nine inches which it's radius or I'm sorry let's make it a diameter of 18 inches which is a diameter of nine or a radius of nine so there we go. Okay, that's going to be the overall thickness. Now you'll notice with the column that they seem to always be tapered. So let's try to figure out how to taper. Put a taper on this. A taper is always this. It's your rise over your run. This creates a tapered, an angle if you will. It's trigon trigonometry. So let's do that next. <coughs> 